Hi everyone, Adam here with The Modern Collective, your online resource for modern designs and templates for your portrait studio. Today I am back with another Tip Tuesday, our weekly blog feature over at The Modern Collective blog. And I am talking today about crooked images. You see this little face on our computer today. Uh, this image is thanks to Jody Wilson of JW Photography over in Seattle, Washington area. And we want to talk to you a little bit on how we can straighten this image quickly in Photoshop. And you are going to be a little bit blown away by this tip if you've never used the straighten function in Photoshop before. So I'm actually going to show you two different ways to do this. Uh, later, later versions of Photoshop have a really convenient um, straighten button that we're going to be using. Uh, but earlier versions of Photoshop actually have a few more steps and I'll show you both. We're going to start with the newest way to do this in the newer versions of Photoshop that um, makes this really, really easy and it's going to be so quick that we might even have to do it twice. So doing this, we're going to be using uh, the ruler tool and the ruler tool is a very common tool that photographers use in Photoshop. It's kind of one of those hidden things you probably didn't even know was there because there really isn't a lot of use for it unless you use it for straightening images and that's really the only reason I ever open up the ruler tool myself. So the ruler tool can be found in your toolbar, obviously, but it's hidden under the eyedropper tool or the note tool you've maybe used. Um, but the ruler tool is hidden right here under that eyedropper tool. It's the selection for it is I, if you just hit I on your keyboard and toggle through those. Otherwise, you can go up here and select it right here. So I'm going to select the ruler tool. I just want to first show you kind of what the ruler tool does and how you use it. The ruler tool is pretty basic, it is a ruler. So you click and you drag. So that ruler tool, you can go up, you can go down, you can do a vertical line or you can do a horizontal line. And then you just release it once you have it in the correct spot. So this can be used for measuring elements in Photoshop. It gives you all the stats in the menu bar at the very top. Or we can use it to straight images, which we're gonna be doing today. So using the ruler tool, this gives Photoshop the actual degree that this image is tilted or where it's crooked. So by drawing out this line, we're doing a constant for Photoshop to know how crooked the image is, is and how we can correct it. So to start to straighten an image, we have to find an area in the image that is parallel with the ground or something that is kind of supposed to be level. So right away I look for man-made objects because typically they're a little bit more square than something in nature such as a tree or something else that might be in the image that maybe isn't necessarily square and isn't level. So right off the bat looking at this image, I know that probably the side of this chair would be a good option. Going from the top corner of this arm to the top corner of the other arm would be a good option. We could go from the bottom and draw a line on both sides of this. Those would all be viable options to straighten this image. Today, for this first step, I'm going to use the top of the arms to go off of. So I'm going to create another line. I'm going to click on this corner and drag over to this corner, making sure that we're going in the same spot on each arm to get that angle. So once I have it in the right spot, I'm just going to release this, and it created this angle across that chair. So once we have that, we can actually go into straightening the image. And if later versions of Photoshop, um, the newer versions, we have a straighten button and it's in the ruler tool and it's at the very top menu bar. You have one option, you have the clear option to clear your ruler that you just drew out if you made a mistake, or you can click straighten. And I'm going to do this and it's going to go really quickly because Photoshop does all the work for you. So I'm going to click straighten and as you can see, Photoshop Photoshop straighten this image and it made it a full image. So what I mean by that, I'm going to back up here just to show you. I'm going to do a Command Z and you can see that this is what Photoshop actually did. So because we drew out that line, we gave it a constant, we gave it a degree that that photo is crooked, Photoshop tilted this image the opposite direction and you can see this background in the back here that, that it corrected. It then went in and cropped the image to be a full bleed image and a solid image once again. So we went from this crooked image all the way to the straightened image. So with this method, you do lose a little bit of your image around the edge. So if you have important stuff around the edge of your image, this maybe isn't a good idea. You might have to do some cloning, that kind of thing um, with a different method. 
But if you have kind of a centrally located image without a lot of important information around the edge, this is a really quick and easy way to straighten an image in Photoshop. So that's kind of the easy way if you have a new, newer version of Photoshop that you can do it this quick way. I'm going to back up to the original crooked image and we're going to do it a little bit longer way. It's just the manual way of doing it the way that Photoshop does with the straighten button. So let me back up and we're back to the crooked image once again. We're still going to be using the ruler with this method. We just have to do a few more steps manually. So again, this time I'm going to use the edge of the chair just so you can see that it actually does work with any straight edge. So I'm going to select or click and drag with that angle and I'm going to go up to our menu bar and select image, image rotation and we're going to select what's called arbitrary. It's right at the bottom here and when you click that it's going to open up a dialog box and it actually auto loads that angle into this box. So the angle that this ruler selection was it loads that into here and by clicking OK it will rotate this image to that degree. So as you see here it rotated the image but it did not crop it. So we just need to go over to the crop tool and we need to just draw out a box and we need to bring it in so it's the solid image on each side. So get it as close as possible as you can to the edge of that white and just double click and you have a straightened image. So it's the, still the same process that Photoshop does with the straighten button, but you just have to manually do it if you're using a later version of Photoshop. So again, I'm just going to go back and show you where we started and where we ended. So that's another tip for you. We hope you found that useful. It's really easy to use and something that you can just always have in the back of your mind if you ever have a crooked image come across your screen that you just feel like you need to straighten. Um, so we hope this helps you and that you can find this useful and implement it into your work. Um, and if you have any questions, just leave us a comment at the bottom of this blog post or on the YouTube video and we'd be happy to answer that. Or you can email us at info at the modern collective and I'd be happy to answer your questions there as well. So we hope you check back next week. Share this tip with your friends if you find this useful and we hope they find it useful too. So we'll see you back next week with another Tip Tuesday.